What is up everyone? Thank you so much for tuning back into Review University. Now, if I look very comfortable right now, it's because I am. And I am sitting right now in my moon pod beanbag chair, if you want to call it that. It's not really a beanbag chair. There's some differences, but generally speaking, that's pretty much what it is. Now, I have had this moon pod set up for almost a year now, and I am here to tell you that it is probably one of the greatest purchases that I have ever made. I don't regret a thing about it. Now, how this thing is marketed is that it is higher quality than a standard beanbag, more comfortable than one as well, and something that could in fact replace your standard recliner in your living room. Now those are all claims that are made on their website, moonpod.co, and they claim that it is the future of relaxation. Now you might be asking yourself, how does this differ than your standard beanbag? How can this be more comfortable than the famous love sack? How it compares to a love sack? Probably the most well-known high-end beanbag in the market. The typical love sack can go upwards of $800, can be as big as 25 square feet, and can weigh up to or even heavier than 35 pounds. Your standard recliner, your recliner chair, those can be very expensive as well, we all know that. And you know how clumsy those are as well, those can weigh almost 100 pounds. This setup right here, guys, this moon pod setup I have right here takes up roughly around four square feet of space. The beads are very high quality, high friction custom beads that are specially made. This isn't your standard little tiny foam balls that condense and you keep out of filling them up. And if you want to talk about light, this weighs 12 pounds. You pick this thing up like it's nothing while you're vacuuming, it's nothing, you put it, I, when, I, when I'm vacuuming, I pick this thing up with one hand, vacuum underneath it, throw the thing back down and I'm done with it. No more clumsy, heavy things moving around. It is so nice. Now, I've been saying the Mood Pod setup because what I have here is all three things. I got my Lunar Lift, my Crescent, my Crescent right here, and then the actual moon pod, which is what you sit on. Now you can just go for your standard moon pod, it's, which is which would just be this. That's $3.99. There's always some sales going on, so make sure you check them out during holidays and things like that. And see if you can get a good deal on it. So you're talking about still something that's pretty expensive, right? You're talking about a pretty expensive product. Plus if you add in the Crescent, which goes for $139, and the Lunar Lift, which goes for $139 each, you're talking around 600 bucks for the whole setup. Now why I say this is worth it? For me, I have, as you can see, I have my couch right here. Now in this space that I'm sitting in, I have been look, I was looking forever for something to fit, fit this space because I wanted something next to my couch that someone, could, that someone could sit in and watch the TV. And then I kept seeing ads about the Moon Pod, about the Moon Pod. And for a while, I just, I just didn't think much about it until I really looked into it myself and I thought, hey, this is something that could re that really fits all my needs. It's small, it's light, it is heavy duty, it is something that someone could sleep on throughout the whole night. And I've had people do that. I've done it myself even, and it's been very comfortable. You can take off this outer shell here, and you, because this is all washable. My whole family has pets. They always are bringing their dogs over. Like, there's no rips, there's no tears, there's nothing in these things. They're high quality. Now, one thing I do want to say is if if you purchase this setup, you will you will probably be offered, at least I was, an insurance policy. I get it, get it, get it, get it. I haven't had any problems with these covers at all, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Thanks so much for tuning back into Review University, guys. I hope this was informative and fun. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you, guys.